sure are a strange one, aren't you? This is a nice car. We've got a, got a lot of room in the back. You want me to come to you? Hmm? Are, are you okay? Oh my god! <laughs> Techniques for controlling infectious diseases have been developed primarily through the work of scientists whose painstaking search for new knowledge and improved methods is never-ending. Animals, too, play an important role in the experimental development and in the production of vaccines, including typhoid, diphtheria, tetanus, scarlet fever, cholera, typhus, infantile paralysis, plague. The campaign against infectious disease can succeed only if the public cooperates. In vaccination, a substance called a vaccine is introduced into the body. Calves are the source of smallpox vaccine. Large quantities of vaccine are produced by infecting healthy calves like this one. Virus multiplies rapidly, and by the fifth day, crusts have formed on the skin. These crusts are collected. They contain the live germs, which will serve as vaccine for human beings. From this mixture, individual doses of the vaccine are prepared. Now let's see how this vaccine, made from dead germs, works when injected into a live animal. The antibodies in the blood of this immune rabbit will attack pneumococci germs wherever they encounter them. For this vaccine, dead germs are needed because there is no weakened form of pneumococci. A third type of vaccine involves the use of poison. In diphtheria, illness is produced by this poison or toxin. Formaldehyde is added to the toxin. When a child is given this injection, the toxoid stimulates the production of antibodies. These antibodies are effective against diphtheria toxin. The germs that cause lobar pneumonia are being used. The resulting vaccine is called diphtheria toxoid. At first, the germs increase faster than the antibodies. If this continues, the patient gets steadily worse and may even die. Commercial laboratories make possible the large-scale production of vaccines that meet required standards. Protect yourself against infection. You must eat regularly, get lots of exercise and fresh air. You must wear sensible clothing to provide proper warmth to remain healthy. Go to bed at a reasonable hour. Keep pencils and other things out of your mouth. Never Never take bites of other people's food. Do not use somebody else's drinking straw or glass. And wash your hands frequently and thoroughly, especially before eating. Hey, try some of this. I think it has rum and pineapple juice in it. Oh my god, that smells awful. Uh, give it to me, I'll drink it. <laughs> <sighs> Who is it? Nobody. It's your mother, isn't it? <sighs> Sometimes she just gets on my nerves. You know, the other day I was sleeping and I had the urge to wake up and I opened my eyes and she's staring at me. 
she was watching me while I was sleeping. I mean, isn't that a bit fucking creepy? I don't, I don't know if her. But... I think it's nice that your mother cares so much. Oh. Paige, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, an in, I'm an insensitive asshole and I was not thinking. I am sorry. It's okay, Mo. It happens. No, still. Still. <laughs> hey, you want to take a free running class with me? Sydney's teaching it. What's free running? It's this really cool new, like, physical art form. We, like, move through your surroundings in, like, a fluid way. And you, like, cool little jumps and acrobats and stuff. <laughs> A beer bottle. It's okay. They're cleaning it up. Just relax, Lucius. You're right. I have an idea. You want to take a walk? Smoke a J? Besides the fact that I don't smoke, you're dating my friend. Relax. Just a walk. For old time's sake. I have to go anyways. It's getting late. Fine. I'll walk you home. Thanks, but no thanks. Is Mo walking you home? Paige, it's about time you ditch that loser. Hey, he's my best friend. And with the likes of Travis and Daryl as friends, you're the last person to tell me who I should or shouldn't hang out with. You're so cute when you get upset. I think about you all the time. We had some fun together, didn't we? <laughs> I don't think what you did to me was called fun. Come on, Paige. You act like I committed a crime or something. It was a crime. Then why didn't you press charges? Here you are. I was wondering what took you so long. Just better come down and see if you want to take a walk. Sure. Is Paige coming? No, it's getting late. You know my dad. Yeah. Call me tomorrow, okay? I will. Bye. Bye. Woo! There he is. Thank you, Jeeves. Yeah. Yo, what about me? <laughs> no way, man. It's not my fault you can't count. <laughs> you lost the bet. Where's my beer runner for the night? Don't watch on the bet. No, what was the bet? I bet him that he couldn't drink 10 glasses of water in 10 minutes. <laughs> Wait, you, you <laughs> fell for that, you dumbass? You should have seen him on the eighth glass. He was trying so hard to keep it in. <laughs> Just give him a beer. <laughs> hey, beer runner, want to go get me a beer? Shut the fuck up, Travis. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, what are you going to do about it, Sherpa? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sherpa is, but I definitely know I'm coming down hard on you, son. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on. <laughs> 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 oh shit. <laughs> you 
dumbasses just chill? Everyone else just relax. It's two idiots do this all the time. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, my allergies are driving me crazy. Jesus! Watch where you're going, buddy! You tell him, a learner. Well, you know what? I'd be even more upset if it wasn't a Porsche Cayenne Turbo S with 500 horsepower and 0 to 60, 4.9 seconds. Whoa, what a machine. <laughs> Boys in their cars. You know, you think with all the money they make in you know, property taxes in this neighborhood that they'd be able to afford a freaking sidewalk. Yeah, let's start a petition. <laughs> I'm serious, Mo. Anyways, in the not so distant future, I don't think we have to worry about walking home. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I think Stu and Jan are gonna cave and buy me a car. Okay, and how can you be sure this time? Paige, I've known my parents my entire life, and one thing neither of them can do is keep a secret. Shh. Did you hear that? Yeah, but I'm gonna pretend I didn't. I think it came from in there. Oh, 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 Paige, can I be the voice of reason here and recommend that we do not enter the dark and scary forest? Come on, it's probably just a puppy or something. Fine. Come on. There, maybe it found its mother's. Is that a yo yo? Shh. I think it's coming from over there. the trail. Okay, well, whatever it is, it's gone. Can we go? Fine. Oh my god. Come on, show yourself, you asshole! Whoa, whoa, whoa Paige, I don't think you should be doing that. And why not? Only you would take pictures. It's not for fun, dummy. It's for the article I'm gonna write. Already. This place is starting to creep me out. Just a few more, okay? No, seriously, Paige, let's get the fuck out of here. Come on. he discovered one of his cows was brutally murdered. I, uh, I saw it. It uh, was some kind of creature. I tried to shoot the goddamn thing, but, uh, well, it was moving too goddamn fast. Thanks. Back to you, Tom. Hey. Is that my shirt? Hello? Could you not? I don't care if you wore my clothes. Just ask, okay? Fine. Paige! Weekend? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I got a lot going on with school and stuff. Hey, can we talk about this later? I'm waiting outside. Okay, you haven't made a decision for over a week. At some point, you're gonna have to sit down with me and talk about this. I promise we'll talk tonight. 
Fine. I'll be waiting. I still love you. Hey, Mo. Sorry I'm late. My stupid alarm clock keeps wigging out on me. But hey, new record. Got ready in five minutes. Can't be done. Uh, can too. One minute to brush my teeth and wash my face. One minute to get dressed. One minute to comb my hair. One minute to do my makeup. One minute to eat and put in a little quality time at the family breakfast table. I would have been out even faster if my dad hadn't stopped me to talk. So you didn't shower? No, I didn't shower. I just sprayed myself a little perfume. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's not disgusting. I'll shower after second period. And besides, you are not one to talk about personal hygiene. Mister, I use my floor as a closet. Hey, my floor's immaculate. What do you make of the thing in the forest? I'm not sure yet, but I'm definitely hoping I'll have a story by Friday. Hey, Paigey. Want a ride? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Hey, move over. Go ahead, Paige. There's no point in both of us being late for school. No, it's okay, guys. You go without me. Hey, see you later. Should have gone. I totally would have ditched you if it was the other way around. Oh my god, Tyler, you scared me half to death. Whatever you're reading, I only hope it's half as interesting as your next article. Oh, about my next article, I was wondering if I could- We already talked about this. Once the assignments go out, there's no turning back. But I really think that if we were to change some of the themes, it could be a lot more poignant. Poignant? Paige, you're 17 years old. Turning 18 in three months? My point is, you're still too inexperienced. But I think that I may have seen a ritualistic killing of an animal. You witnessed this. No, but I arrived literally seconds after it happened. I emailed you the pictures. Didn't you get them? I get hundreds of emails every day, and we're not going to run the story. What? Look, an animal killed another animal in the forest. We live next door to nature. This kind of thing happens all the time. But why would it just leave the body? I don't know, Paige. Maybe it heard you guys coming up and it ran away. For all we know, this is a bunch of idiots playing some stupid prank. Well, that's what I thought, too, until I started digging a little deeper, and I found this website. Are you serious? Look, this is a chat room for sci-fi geeks and people who want to believe in the paranormal. You're wasting your time. I want you to focus on your assignment. But Tyler, Paige! I think this... Your father and I go way back, but I want you to know you got this job based solely on your own merit. In saying that, if you want me to run a story, you will earn it. That's it. How's the sandwich? I don't know what it is. I just get these cravings every now and again. You want some? Beef carpaccio. <laughs> no, no thanks. Okay, people, settle down. A number of case studies to get through today, so let's not waste any more time. Before I get started, uh, I'd like to introduce everyone to my patient, who's been nice enough to join us today, Mr. Henry Morris. Hey, Sid. I heard your father's playing God again and got you into neurosurgery. <laughs> okay, people, settle down. Henry came into the hospital about three days after he was bitten by what we understand to be a rabid raccoon. After tending to his sutures, he began displaying some very typical symptoms of encephalitis, symptoms such as Headache, nausea, photophobia or sensitivity to light, aching bones. <coughs> After running some tests that came back positive, Henry was immediately admitted into uh, the hospital and we began treatment for encephalitis. Henry responded very quickly to the treatment and was released that very day. <coughs> Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. I just, <coughs> I got something stuck in my throat. Here, have some water. <clears throat> Henry um, came back three weeks later, this time with much more severe symptoms. 
By now, the inflammation of the brain had become so severe we were concerned about possible brain damage. <laughs>